Today I'm going to be doing this board right here. A Sonova Surfboard 6.2 short board and it's called the Speedster model. A beautiful board, beautiful timber, so rather than covering it up with a thick coat of ugly dirty wax, today we're going to give it a new lease of life. And uh, what that means folks is no more wax ever. The only difference with this one is uh, nephew Brody's put a GoPro mount on the front here and so I've had to make a few little alterations. Would have cleaned my fingernails if I'd known there was going to be film. Okay, so I've put on the nose piece, which we're calling the landing pad. So this is for you crazy cats that do aerials and want to land backwards on your surfboard. But what we're going to do now is the tail pad. This is the arch bar and the kicker is what I call it. I don't know, there's probably a real world for it. And then we'll attach our two little side pieces. A little bit trippy, put that on here. If you get it wrong and you haven't pushed down too hard yet, you can peel it back. The adhesive is totally non-residual. So you can have a couple of goes at it to make sure you've got it just where you want it. And once it's where you want it and you give it a solid push, now it's there to stay. Always work from one point outwards. It's a nice low profile, a lot thinner than your standard tail pad. So it's a lot more sensitive to your foot on the board. So we'll pop that right alongside the arch bar, and that's that. Tail pad, done. Can't stress enough how important it is to prepare your board. Get all that old wax off, get it clean, and this part will be a lot simpler. First these two, then I think this one, and then I'll halve the gap between these two. I actually want to have about a four or five millimeter gap in between each of my panels, but I want to leave a gap so I can show off a little bit more of that beautiful timber. So, away we go. So you see, I'm joining it along the stringer line, getting that set, and now this is, you can play around with it quite a lot, it's quite strongly held on. We're peeling this paper out as we apply it on, starting here, moving out. We don't want to go from there to there, because then we've got air in between and then we have bubble. So you don't have to be too fussy, you can get it done fairly quick, but by taking a little bit of care, it looks beautiful, it'll last as long as it possibly can and you get to show off all your graphics, designs, sponsors, logos, or in this case, beautiful timber underneath. Ooh. Waxless traction technology. I'm out there.